What up, YouTube? Um, deck update. Uh, I now have Infernes, the the whole thing. Um, I'm just missing three cards, and that would be one more Archfiend and two, two, two barriers, which are extremely expensive right now. But um, eventually I'll be getting those. Um, before I get started, I would just like to say that I will not be able to really talk to any of you guys for two weeks since I'll be in San Francisco um and so you know I might be able to get online there but most likely not um so like I said Fernie Bear um this is in Fernie's uh well guess I'll just start out so any Fernie deck you run three for the arch fiends. like I said, I, I, I need one more, and so, and that's like the heart of the deck, um, then you run three Inferni Necromancers, because they bring your stuff back, and then you run three Inferni Beetles, because of the fact that the effect of the Inferni Beetle is pretty, pretty cool, and it can, and you know those are basically the three main cards that you need, um, and then the rest of these help getting those cards. So you run two Inferni Mirages, um, two of them, and you also run two Dark Refers. And that's all the monsters. So it's only let's see, it's only thirteen monsters. Um and that's all that you really need. So let me get this up. Move this stuff out of the way. Um, okay, on to the spells. You if you're gonna run an Inferno deck you need three launchers, so we have three here, and then one alert, just in case you don't have a good hand, um, and then two smashing grounds. Um, you can run two or one, but for moon, I I want run one right now. Um, but you know I can always switch to two. Uh, then one brain and one one for one to get your mirage. Then this card, Giant True Name, which is really helpful because if you're going for the OTK, um, you do not want to have your opponent have a backfield. Uh, Foolish Burial to get Archfiend or another card in the graveyard. And then Heavy Storm and MST. Now onto the traps. Which, basically, as you can see, um, two of them are proxied, like two Inferni Barriers, because I have to go find them. Hopefully, while I'm in San Francisco, someone will have them and trade them. Uh, so, two Inferni Barriers. One, the rest is just, you know, stuff that is good to have, like uh, one Starlight Road. Two bombless, two threatening roar because sometimes you're not going to be able to pull off the OTK in the first turn, so you need to stall. Um, same with Wabaku, it'll help stall. And this, this is really good in a mirror match um, because then they can't use uh, their effects. So one call of the haunted. This is also good in a mirror match. Because then they can't activate traps if you're going for OTK, which they'll be pretty trap heavy. Um, one dust, or uh, two dust rams, and one trap dust shoot. So that's the deck, and I'll show you guys the basically what you have to do to uh, run the deck. It's really simple. What you do is you want 
say you want either, well, you definitely want an arch fee in the graveyard, and you want either a, one Inferni Beetle in the graveyard, or you want an Inferni Necromancer. But mainly, you want these two in the graveyard first, and so you bring out um, a Necromancer. And what you do is, um, first you, well, first of all, you have to have an Inferni Launcher. Um, and what you do is you use the Launcher's effect to bring back these two guys, and um, that's when you sync for a Mistworm, which you do, it's really important in the deck. Um, then, using, he goes to the graveyard, using his effect, you get back another Launcher to bring back, um, to bring back an Arch Fiend and a Necromancer. To, and then you use an Necromancer's effect to bring back, um, Infernity Beetle. And you can go different ways there. You can use Infernity Beetles to bring back more Beetles to Syngro for a 6 star and a 5 star. Or you could, um, Syngro for another Mistworm. And you use Infernity Archfiend's effect again to get a Launcher. And then you do the same thing. Um, and then once you get past your final launcher, you can choose if you want, um, I don't know, you can choose Inferni Barrier or Inferni Mirage if you have a normal summon, which is unlikely. But yeah, and it, it can, you know, be tough to pull it off, but it is, once you pull it off, um, I mean, once you get started, you're pretty much, your opponent's pretty much done. So... That was the deck. Um, if you have any questions, PM me. Uh, and rate, subscribe, and um, <coughs> comment. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, if you haven't noticed, I got this new mat. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.